Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. The Power League season has started and you guys know what that means. It's currently the second day into the season. We're second in the world behind none other than somehow OG. We got some usual names up here. Alex up here, Czar, Patchy, you know, the usual grinders, but somehow OG's first. I've been number one masters three straight seasons in a row. I want it to be number I want it to be four. So we're gonna have to beat OG. With that being said, we need to get some games in. Let's hop into the games and hopefully we can get some wins. Let's hop into it. All right, so get into game number one. We have Knockout Gold Arm Gulch. So, um, you know, great map. Gonna be a lot of fun in my favorite mode, Knockout. Um, we have Zar and Alit on our team. Not too sure um, who we are facing. Double Fang Ban, I respect it. I don't know what Alit's gonna go. Zar is flashing him the tick. Alit's gonna hop on the Brock. I mean, I respect it. <laughs> Brock is a very good pick. Don't mind that that sip of water. I was just very thirsty. But yeah, we'll see how this one goes. We'll see what they take. I've played this map only once in Power League so far. It was with a lit, actually. It was this morning. We managed to win, so hopefully we can keep up kind of the same thing here. I don't really know what we should take into Daryl. I feel like Rico would be a pretty good pick. Hopefully we can get Zara on the Rico. They took Piper. Let's get Zara on the Rico. And then maybe I'll go like, oh, I can go the new Brawler. The new brawler isn't that good without the gadget, but with the gadget, it's probably the best brawler in the game. So I don't really know if I want to go it without the gadget or not. I think if, well, the issue is if I go crow, which I really want to go, they go a thrower. So I probably shouldn't go crow. Actually, you know what? Let's just go crow for fun because I like crow. They're definitely going to go a thrower like a sprout or something, especially if this is who I think it is, aka Mr. Lukey Bear. Um, I know a thrower is definitely going to be crossing his mind, so... Let's see what he takes, or whoever this is takes. Because I know Luki does have a white name. You know, maybe it's Luki, maybe it's not. Okay, level 9 tick. I don't know if Luki would have level 9 tick. I feel like Luki's the type of guy to definitely have level 11 tick. So, I don't know. Maybe it's Luki, maybe it's not. But um, let's hop into our first game, and let's see what happens. Probably, I don't know what side they're going to go. I'm just going to go up left and try and find them and mark them. And hopefully we can get them marked and slow them and Zar can do the rest. Alright, so they are on this side. Everyone's, you know, doing some pokes and stuff. I'm gonna hit the- oh, maybe I'm not gonna hit the Daryl. Oh, Alit's definitely gonna hit the Daryl. Alit's gonna grab that kill. I'm gonna slow the Piper. Um, uh, come on Zar, you slowed- okay, I shouldn't have slowed the Piper. I wasted a slow, I guess, but... We're just going to run this one down. Zara's going to get the kill. Elit did very good there. Go, Elit. You're the best. Woo. Oh, we all abandoned our homie Zar. Sorry, Zar. Oh, all right. I guess Zar doesn't need our help. Yeah, I guess Zar doesn't really need our help. Um, I've hit a grand total of one shot this game. Um, so pretty good first game. I like that. I, I really like games where I hit one total shot and win. You know, it's pretty cool. Go, you know, I get some elo. It's pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, let's hop into the next game. I'm sure they're going to swap sides this game. So, uh, let's just hop over here and we'll see what happens. They did switch sides. We're going to slow that Daryl. Alit's going to get a pretty easy three tap. I'm going to try and sneak towards the tick. We're going to get that kill. And this Piper, again, is going to be left alone in oh, a 1v1. Alit is going to think nothing of it, though. He's going to get the kill. And, I mean, I hit more shots this game than I did last game. So, I guess that's some improvement right there. They're all over here, so I'm just going to run it down. Let's try and get someone marked. Piper's going to break some walls. Pretty smart of the Piper. Oh, there's the double slow. Gonna jump right on the Piper. Gonna get that kill. Daryl is dead, so now he's gonna juke these tick vines here. But this game is over. The quickest knockout game I think I've ever been a part of. Let's see who we were facing. Sword, Sla Sam, and Shine Slays. Okay, so that's actually three legitimate players right there. That just got absolutely trampled. So I'm probably not gonna get much elo. Yeah, very little. Uh, probably still in second place because OG is pretty far ahead of where I am. Yeah, second place. So let's move in to the next game and uh, let's get it going. All right, so here we go into game number two now. We have Charles and ESK versus uh, I don't even know who. Bells Rock. 
Uh, I think he wants a tick banned, so let's just go ahead and ban the tick. He's going to go sprout. Um, and we'll see what happens here. So this is a pretty interesting map. Again, knockout, which wasn't in Power League last season. It is by far my least favorite mode in Brawl Stars. I just don't like it. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's fun to play. I don't think it's fun to watch. I don't think the objective is good. I just, I don't know. Not the biggest fan, as you guys can tell, of this mode. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. We're going to go through the draft process here. You want Sprout, then Brock. Brock is a really good pick, as, you know, it's good into the meta. And you can break the map open if you really want to. Uh, Sprout, obviously, is really good on a map that looks like this. And you only have one life. You know, Sprout would be a pretty good brawler. Uh, they're going to go Eve. Oh, man. Eve is so annoying. I might hop on the Fang here. But the thing is, they have two brawlers that can jump, so I don't think I'm going to. ESK, I don't know what he really plans on going. I don't really know what I should plan on going. I should probably go something that counters tanks. So I think I might go roughs. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to end up going roughs. Roughs is a pretty decent pick. Um... It's just kind of good into everything outside of throwers, but throwers isn't really that meta right now. And if they do have a thrower, I mean, it'll be a worse thrower than what Charles is. So we'll cut our losses there. Uh, so we'll see what they end up going. I feel like Fang would be a pretty good pick for them. Okay, Piper. So they're going to go with the kind of a wall breaking type of thing. I am going to go on the heal start. Well, it's not really a heal, but like the HP star power. Just try and make Charles nice and big because he's going to kind of be our carries here we should probably target the brock and get it down as quick as possible so they don't break many walls but we'll see if charles and our homie esk know what to do very interesting comp so we have here so let's move over here gonna make everyone nice and big we shouldn't really take our time with this though we should probably push up as fast as we can all right my team's getting tapped up a little bit they got some wall breaks down Oh, and there goes Charles. So not the greatest of starts for us. All right, yeah, this game is gonna end in a loss. Well, not maybe not this game, but this round, this round is definitely ending in a loss. I'm not gonna use my bags or anything. I guess I'm just gonna try and charge super for Charles. Oh, almost got him. Come on. Oh, all right, whatever. I'm close to super. Maybe ESK, 1v3s, I don't know. Alright, yeah, these little pet things are very annoying. Look at ESK getting that extra shot before going down. What a good player. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's move out. Charles is shooting ESK, even though he insta-died. Love to see it. It's my goat, Charles. Uh, so yeah, we're going to make Charles nice and big. Charles, ag again, almost dies very fast. Uh, he elects that this time he's going to stay alive, though. Um, yeah, this game is not going to go too well. Charles dies again very fast. Uh, yeah, this game is over. I'm going to treat myself up here. All right, we're kind of doing our thing over here. ESK is probably going to go down soon. Piper is going to jump. Oh, that guy's kind of low. Oh, no. Please let me break it. All right. Well, this game is over. This isn't very nice of them. All right, well, that's going to be game number one. Uh, hopefully, our carries doesn't insta-die uh, both rounds that we play. That would be pretty unfortunate if that happens. So let's hop into game number two, and let's hope this one goes a little bit better. Charles is going to take some shots at some stuff, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we're going to get some good positioning here to start off, though. Definitely a way better start than last time. Uh, Charles almost goes down. He doesn't. Oh, my triple auto aim almost worked. Oh, I'm gonna go down. Never mind. Oh my god. And that brawler really. Oh, ESK is the best player in the game. He just did a bounce shot. Okay, well, we have them backed up. They have no supers. We have a sprout. So this is kind of the position that we want to be in always. Um, if we can just get sprout up the map, it'll definitely help us out a lot. Uh, but here he goes. He's doing his thing. Gets the kills. So that's going to be round number one there. Good start for us. ESK is kind of crazy with the bounce star power. No one really, or gadget I mean, no one really runs that. But I guess ESK is just different. So we have a good position here. We've pushed them back already. Oh, this brawler is kind of crazy. All right, I'm not going to ego the tree. 
What? The bags don't eat that? Why? Maybe I should. Oh my god. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna go down immediately. So we're gonna throw this over to Charles. We're gonna let him pick that up. He's gonna be nice and juiced up. We got two bags. We're gonna definitely spam those this round as we try and make our way up the map here. Got a little bit of body block coverage. Um, now... Ow. Not so much. Charles... Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can't really blame him now as there are literally no walls on the map. And he's a sprout. ESK kind of tapping up. He hit his mark. Gonna put this down over here. Charles got himself a little mini wall type of thing. He's gonna throw it up. Put it down again in a new spot. Piper's gonna break it. But we have some pretty good positioning here. So hopefully we can do something. Um... Help me with this Piper team. It's trapped in a corner. Oh my god. Alright, there we go. We got the kill. There we go. We get another kill. Alright, winnable game. Winnable game. Winnable. We can't lose the first round if we want to win this. Because at the end, the walls get broken. Everything happens. We just got to run down at the start and win the game. And, I mean, at least win the first round. Because that is very important for our success here. Uh, but yeah, let's run down over here. Let's try and juke some shots. Um, decent jukes. I mean, the Piper didn't hit a shot, but I didn't really either. So no one really got any positioning. That Brawler does so much damage. I'm gonna try and make my way up. Getting a little bit slimy here. Okay, I mean, we've made our way into this little pocket here. Oh my god, 40 HP. Alright, buddy. Gonna back off there. Oh yeah, these things don't get body blocked by the bags for whatever reason. Good wall there by Charles. They're just gonna jump, break the wall. But, I mean, the first round is still winnable for us. Gonna make our teammates big. I haven't hit a shot this round yet. Come on, one bullet hit. They are definitely keeping their range very well. We're gonna get tapped up a little bit. I'm trying to make my way up here. Alright, uh, there we go. We hit one shot. It's pretty cool. Oh, 3v1. Alright. Epic. So there we go. First round won. Uh, don't really know how we won it. They definitely did some work on the other side over there, but good start for us, 100%. Oh, that was a big shot to hit right there. Come on, auto aim. Alright, auto aim hit gets us another shot. We're gonna give our treat to Charles here, and this is kind of where we're in a decent position. Now we're kind of treated up. Gonna try and make Charles as big as possible, and hopefully we can just kind of keep this ground as it is until the end of the round. Not looking too good for us, though. Charles is gonna bail us out, maybe. Oh, still dangerously low, but ESK gets a kill over there. That's some pretty good news. Oh, the Piper is very one-shot. Oh my god, let's not die here. This is our chance to win the game. Just gonna make everyone nice and big. All powered up. Alright. Let's wait for the gas to come in. Yes, K, don't die! Oh, the body blocks. We just have to not throw this game and we're gonna win. I got bags. They have no curves. Kind of trapped in a corner. Alright, bags out. 3v1. And that is going to be game. That was stressful. I did not like that. But we're gonna get the win over Luki, Vapor, and Yuri. So let's see how much we move up. A decent amount, still a lot of ways to go before we can hit number one. But that is going to be it for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed two knockout games. Let me know what you guys feel or how you guys feel about knockout in general. But that's going to be it for me today. I will catch you guys again soon as the Power League season has started. We got a lot of videos coming up. So I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Hey you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? The most loved player on your team? and support your favorite creator at the same time. Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.